Welcome back to Daytime Ottawa. So it's spring, officially spring now, finally. And that means a lot of us are getting outside, getting more and more active and playing outdoors. And if you're going to go for a run, you need to make sure that you have the proper gear. That's why we have Michelle O'Neill here today from Michelle Fit. Hello. And welcome to the program. <laughs> you know, uh, this is really a key conversation to have because mm -hmm. a lot of people yes. may be, you know, heading outside and pretty much underprepared. Well, right. yes, and we've got the, the big National Capital Race Weekend coming up yeah. as well, so a lot of people are in the middle of their training, and yeah. Well, yeah. Most, most of us, let's be honest, and I'm guilty of this, we go to the, we go to the shoe store or whatever, whatever store we, we happen to be at and just grab a pair of running shoes, try them on, they fit, and off we go. Okay, you probably you grab shouldn't the prettiest be, one. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's true, right? I yeah. mean, it's the first thing you look at is what do they look like, but yeah. there's more than just what they look mm, like. Exactly. How, how should a proper yeah. running shoe fit somebody? So it really depends on the type of foot that they have. So, right. <coughs> excuse me, some people need a, a minimal support shoe or other people normal, some, excuse me, a bit more support. Mm -hmm. um, it depends if you're, uh, you know, a bit more flat foot or higher arched. Um, so the best thing to do mm -hmm. is to go somewhere where you have someone that can uh, watch you walk. Okay. Um, it's called a gait analysis. Okay. And then they can recommend a few different shoes for you and then you can try them on, walk around the store. Um, you know, run in the store, walk run in the, the store. Spot, yeah. yeah, a lot of places um, like the running room, for example, they let you take the shoe uh, home with you, use it on a treadmill. Really? And for if you have like 30 days to, to try it out and uh, if it's just not feeling comfortable, you can take it back. Really? I had no That's idea they actually offered yeah. that. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. basically, you can go in store and get an analysis done, get some mm -hmm. help that way. Mm -hmm. um, but what about getting shoes for specific activities? So there are a lot of people yes. who run um, on the streets, people mm -hmm. who run mm -hmm. in different terrain. Uh, mm -hmm. What would you recommend for different types of runners? So it, it really depends. I mean, if you're walking, get a walking shoe. If you're running, have a running shoe. If you're trail running, get a trail shoe. Right. Um, if you're doing uh, your cross training, so your boot camps or your weight training or so forth, get a cross trainer shoe. Um, so each shoe has a different type of support for that particular sport. Right, so, so. Even, even something like hiking, you know, you want to get a mm -hmm. proper boot and exactly. probably not as light as these. Now that's yes. what amazed us, because when you brought <laughs> these on, the first thing, I lifted them up, and it's incredible how lightweight they are now. I know, yes, these are the new uh, Eco Biome uh, Evo Racer shoes. So these are the running, sh they're Sorry, running shoes. Sorry, say that again? I know. Oh, <laughs> Eco. Is there a longer title for a shoe out there? My the Eco Biome, basically. Yeah. Okay. And what makes so, these a, a good shoe? So um, I'm actually, I've been testing these out and I'm loving them. Um, they're lightweight, minimalist shoe, mm -hmm. gives you that barefoot feel. Um, right. Some people aren't necessarily ready to go to that barefoot shoe or even to run barefoot. Mm -hmm. um, so this gives you that feel but but has that impact support as well. Okay. So, so that, this is actually a huge trend in running shoes right now. Mm -hmm. You see a lot of different mm -hmm. brands that are coming out with shoes that are very lightweight. I mean, my mother taught me to do this when you're buying yeah, shoes. You cross it and yeah, see if it's too heavy, you're not going to buy. But, um, um, what, what, what's the benefit of running near bare, barefoot or barefoot? Um, so, uh, well, everyone has their different kind of opinion on that. Right. So, um, for me, I like the lighter shoe. I feel like I can run a little bit faster that way. The mm -hmm. shoe's not as heavy. Um, I myself, though, I have a pretty normal gait. Uh, I don't need a whole ton of support in my shoe. I don't need orthotics or anything like that. Right. Um, so for me, this is this has been a great shoe, um, uh, and and it's it's so funny. I'm actually what I'm loving the best about this shoe is the fact that the shoelaces stay done up. <laughs> <laughs> that can't be for, obviously, for, now what, but, what's the difference say between this shoe and this shoe? Okay, so that one there is a, a cross trainer. Okay. So if you can see on the side here, this has some lateral support here. Right. So with a cross trainer, you tend to be on different types of surfaces and you're moving in different directions very right. quickly as well. Yes. Okay. So that gives you that, um, that heel support there. Um, and the difference between a runner and a cross trainer is you can see with the runner, the heel tends to be a bit higher, that sole height. Oh, okay. Right. So that absorbs the impact that you get from okay. running as a, compared to um, a cross trainer or a walking shoe can it be a bit more of a standard height across right. the... 
the sole. And I guess <clears> because you're talking about doing lateral movements and things like that, this will give you more agi agility, but also yes. stability while you're trying to be more agile. You, um, you got also it. brought in yeah, the a fancy cool accessories little here. accessory here. What yes. is this? <laughs> Garmin, what is this in here? <laughs> so that's a heart rate monitor. Okay. Um, Which so your that heart rate went qu up quite a bit when you found out how much your husband paid for this. Yes. <laughs> So that was good to have. Yes, uh, that's that's a nice, a nice gift. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, what I'm loving about this one, so the heart rate monitor goes up around the, uh, uh, under the chest here. Okay. okay. Um, and, it, uh, and it connects with the, the watch there. So this tells me what my heart rate is while I'm running. Also, um, my distance, how far I am into my run, 5K, okay. 4K, whatever. Um, what my average uh, per kilometer time is as okay. well, which is really, uh, really good. And then you can just plug it into your computer and you can, it, it'll map out the route that you did and, and you know, Wonderful. give you a little graph of. That's awesome. Yeah, that yeah, is really, important. really cool. Like you said, race weekend is coming up mm -hmm. and everyone out there who's training, you know, mm -hmm. you can't fudge your own numbers. You gotta no, know that yes. you actually win the full <laughs> five or 10K. Yes. That's right. I usually yes. estimate it's probably off. But yeah, this is a yeah. great tool. Michelle, mm -hmm. thank you so much for helping yes, us you're today. Welcome. You're Thanks, welcome. Thanks, Michelle. All the, these tips of, and words of advice. Now these shoes are the ones that you're giving away way today, right? Um, actually, the, any of the Echo running shoes, oh, yeah. Okay. So Cross Trainer Runners, um, they've gen uh, generously donated a pair of running shoes. So anyone who signs up for one of my uh, boot camps um, this summer, starting on May 13th, they'll automatically be entered to win a pair of shoes. Fantastic. And they're worth 175 bucks. Amazing. So yeah. go to michellefit.ca for you got your it. chance to win. Yes. Thank you so much, Michelle. Yes. Thanks, Michelle. All right, coming up next, we are going to be talking about the Women's Business Network. They just had an awards gala, and we're going to speak with one of the winners right after the break. From a brand new sky, what happened to our bright lights? Shine when we were young What happened to those cool kids?